Hello and welcome to today's Stocks News. I'm Natalie Stoberman and today I'm joined by the newest CEO of Cavitation Technologies, Neil Voloshin. Neil, thank you so much for stopping by. Natalie, great to be with you. Fabulous. So Neil, I would love to get to know more about you and Cavitation Technology. So please introduce the company to me and you as you're in the new role in CEO. Sure. Um, again, I'm Neil Voloshin. I have become uh, chief executive officer of the company and actually has have joined the board uh, of the company as well. Uh, we are a technology company located in Southern California. Uh, mm -hmm. We've been in operations for about 14 years. Um, I've been the company's chief operating officer and the chief financial officer and kind of like perhaps I moved up slightly up the ladder. But like I said, I've been in the company for about 12 years now. So this is uh, something kind of like business as usual for me, just move on. It's just slightly different role. Uh, the, kind of the company were listed in OTCQB under the symbol CVAT. Uh, again, we're a fully reporting company. Uh, and um, like I said, uh, we're a small technology company. Mm -hmm. And the new role, the way I see it, we have you know, probably at least half a dozen new applications that I'd like to you know, really move forward and advance them. Uh, but then, you know, again, we can discuss the business and any questions you have. Sure. Go ahead. I'll provide you okay, with. Neil. So let's back up a little bit. What exactly does Cavitation Technologies specialize in? Again, we're a technology company. Uh, we manufacture and market patented uh, devices and processes uh, for both uh, industrial and consumer fluid processing applications. Mm -hmm. um, our technology is all built in the United States. And now we sell technology on a worldwide basis. We talk about from Japan or Southeast Asia to North America, South America, and you name it. Um, and um, we, have, we own approximately 50 patents, both uh, domestically and internationally. Um, uh, if this is some covers a little bit of what we do, just otherwise, you know, shoot, ask me another question. <laughs> okay. So now that you've covered how Cavitation Technologies covers basically the manufacturing around different fluids and how it basically spreads throughout the in different industries. Um, how have you seen the company grown as you have risen through the ranks over the last 12 years? Uh, when I joined the company, we were primarily um, shooting for kind of like research and development, small company. We go through aches and pains. We have to uh, create our own identity, understand mm -hmm. where we're going to be at. Uh, over a period of time, um, again, we have numerous applications that we can address uh, or our, our technology can address. And uh, about 2012, uh, we've actually decided, all right, this is a low hanging fruit. Let's get into agriculture or uh, vegetable oil refining, something that, you know, cooking oil, uh, your soy canola, you name it. Right. And this is how the process works. So what differentiates us, for example, from the rest of the group, we do not change the way the end user is operating. What we're doing is we our technology compact, easily, easily to be installed. Mm -hmm. um, it is integrated into existing process and makes this particular process by far more efficient. Uh, we eliminate usage of chemicals substantially, so we become very green process. Byproducts, mm -hmm. for example, are not uh, you know not are not there going to be as much. Uh, and this was our initial um, you know step into the door uh, on the you know really uh, monetizing our technology. Uh, over the last five, six years, we've addressed, uh, for example, water treatment side, alcoholic beverages, biofuels, uh, renewable fuels, and so on. Uh, renewable fuels, and uh, so on. There is, you know, probably another half a dozen applications that we're in development stage through. But this is, in essence, what what the company is, and this is what we're doing. Right, and this essentially sums up uh, the unique patented technology that Cavitation Technologies has. That is correct. Uh, in order to understand really what we do, I mean. I got I got You know, I, I deal with this every day, but anytime <laughs> I'm presenting or I'm being asked just casually and say, so, so, so what does it do? Um, mm -hmm. Conceptually, if you can understand techn our technology pipe inside the pipe, we have various configurations, no moving, moving no, no moving parts, um, mm -hmm. all static pressure. So the fluid is entering uh, the chamber of the reactor at one end and exits from the other end. Typical pressure between 1100 PSI to as low as 150 PSI. So what happens inside? Inside the reactor, we create an enormous pressure um, and energy that the fluid or molecular structure in fluids is broken into nano or micro, micro bubbles or nanoparticles. So the typical reaction that takes place, for example, to achieve a certain chemical uh, process may take 
a minute, an hour, a day, a year, we do it instantly as a flow through process. So that's all it does. So in other words, we accelerate the chemical process or whatever treated fluid had to be treated uh, just in seconds. Uh, and again, um, the, the fluid itself, because again, we, we, we break a, a physical structure of the fluid. Again, we don't need to use or consume as much chemicals, for example. This is what makes us a green process that, you know, in some instances, uh, you know, usage of chemicals is entirely eliminated. So conceptually, this is what, what, what technology does and this is what we do. And how does this apply to, let's say, the manufactured water industry or portion of the company? For example, treating uh, produced uh, water. For example, we do have operations in Permian Basin. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen, but, you know, in fracking, when the water comes out in those pools, it's just this black, gooey stuff. I mean, smell of sulfur, you name it. So uh, by introducing our technology, we, um, we can actually treat that water without usage of chemicals, believe it or not. Uh, once the uh, you know, water is uh, passed through, um, our reactors and you know, other co components of process, which are a conventional process, mm -hmm. from water that you cannot see through, it looks like gooey black stuff, comes out as crystal, crystal clear, you can see right through it. So we'll eliminate quite a bit of bacteria because, again, as I discussed with you, it's created creation of a lot of pressure. Um, we, you know, make a process again by far cleaner if there's such a world, and, uh, you know, such a word in fracking, uh, by far, by far more, you know, clean process than than the conventional process. And obviously, cost of operation is substantially reduced. So economically, we can actually be sustainable in terms of you know making money. And mm -hmm. on the other hand, we can be green because typically. We discussed the fact that, well, green technologies, well, can, are you sustainable? Can you generate enough income so you don't need to get subsidies, for example? Mm -hmm. We can do it uh, through our technology. So how does it feel for you? It's even though you've been with the company for 12 years, but how does it feel for you now that you're the CEO, essentially one of the leaders of a company that is so focused and uh, has really implemented a green and sustainable environmentally, uh, an environmentally sustainable strategy? Well, <sighs> I always look at it this way. When we can have a great technology, the greatest, the greatest technology in the world. It's all about people. So my objective today is to bring enough talent introduced to the company that mm -hmm. the company can evolve and we can move to the next step. This is one of the key components that we do. Second one is obviously is execution. The, it's paramountly important for a small company to really execute on, on goals and uh, objectives that we set. It's very difficult. I mean, because, you know, we micro caps, we live in an entirely different world than, you know, large, larger companies do. Again, it's budgets, it's human resources, uh, anything is how you utilize. So for us, conceptually, many of us who work with, or, you know, a number of us who work in the company, we have to wear different hats, depending on where and how we do it. And again, execution is paramountly important for us. So how do those different hats come together in your vision for the short term of this company now that you are the CEO? Execution, 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 execution. I mean, we, for example, on water water treatment side, this is where, uh, you know, again, I'll, I expect to bring the additional talent and execution. I talk about how do we monetize on a technology? We do uh, treat water in, for example, in Permian, uh, state of California, in the Permian, for example. Uh, I mean, there's enormous opportunity because the cost of disposing of produced water, uh, we don't do much fracking, but when the oil gets extracted, uh, it comes up, comes up, comes out the surface with with water. For example, for each mm -hmm. barrel of oil, it's generated between ten to twenty barrels of produced water. That water has to be treated. The state of California is an enormous drought right now, and it's just one of the elements. Can we provide the efficient way of treating the produced water? For example, in oil and gas industry, execute, monetize, and uh, build much 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 uh, stronger enterprise. For example, these are one of the tasks I'm interested to do at, at the stage. It's just just one example. Right. And what else are you looking to execute within the next quarter, Neil? Also, we're doing something which is uh, it's kind of really interesting. We've developed a certain technology over a period of years related to alcoholic beverages. And uh, it's one of those things <laughs> where you can take any alcohol uh, that's available, you know, put it to it, it, it's kind of it is a small home appliance. It's not a filtering system. It's the same process that we do for industrial sites. Tiny reactor, um, put any type of alcohol, basically run it for about five minutes, cavitate it, and five minutes later, you're gonna have a spirit that is gonna taste entirely different compared to the original product. So original product you'll never touch again because it's gonna be this harsh. And what's also makes it different because I just remember I described to you the fact how we deal with chemicals. So any alcohol, has uh, byproducts or you know some some 
chemical or acids that that uh, you know affect our body. Of course, it's about hydration, everything else. But when we discuss the fact mitigated hangovers, this is it. There's no such thing as no hangovers. But <laughs> hangovers, this is uh, the consumer product that uh, is being introduced already, and I anticipate with the next six to twelve months for sure. Uh, alcoholic beverage business is going to really mushroom and we are going to see results of our work for the last several years. Wow, it really does sound that sounds like Cavitation Technologies has a bunch of different hats that they're wearing. So congratulations <laughs> on the new role. I hope you have a ginormous hat rack in your office. <laughs> and we look forward to chatting with you again soon, Neil. Natalie, thanks and thanks for having me. Of course, anytime. And take care and best of luck in the next quarter. Greatly appreciate it. Great.